Hey guys, welcome to the adventure. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my food truck, Huckleberry, and how we built it, the layout, and the why. Those of you who don't know us, we are Simple Living, husband and wife, team truck drivers, that are best known for making our semi into a micro tiny house. So we are phasing out of trucking slowly and we are blessed to have a contractor that we can work when we want to. So we'll drive for a few months straight, come off the road, work our businesses, and then go back on the road so that we can supplement our income slowly by being self-employed. So it's really an amazing opportunity. So over the last three years, we have been building this food truck. <laughs> So first I'm gonna start with the front. We wanted to make sure we left an open layout and that you could fit two or three people working back here if we had to, and one person taking orders and doing drinks. So the concept is this person takes orders and gets drinks out, and then the food comes back to the line and it just starts its way and then goes back out that window. So you can work in a complete circle and the truck is just continuously circling around. So we built this door that can get put in with gate latches. When the door is open, it's put in place. Warming cabinet here, because it's not a piece it needs all the time, um, but we do barbecue and it's important to have the barbecue stay moist and warm. I must also say all of our equipment is used and we bought it one piece at a time. We've spent three years building this truck. It did not get built overnight. We started in a pop-up tent, okay? Then we got a refrigerator. We got the one that opens up like this. So that way we can put our apple slaw in here. And then when you move to your warming table that you can serve fresh out. And then we put our containers up here so you can grab your container, get the cold if you need to. We also put the bread up here, build the meal, and then we pass it right out of the window. What I did is I took some old windows and I put them in for the windows. It slides up and down and then it opens up as shutters. Then we have our, our three bay sink and our hand washing sink. And so the fresh water starts here. It pumps it up and over, goes down, and then the gray water drains all underneath of this warming table. And then we have a hose that we wind out to our commissary and it drains all the water. Extra storage we have here, we put our extra bread, containers, things like that. A fun thing about our menu board, it clips on and off. And so when we're going down the road, it can hang right there. It does take a lot of planning and a lot of prep work. Uh, don't rush the build of your truck because it's only gonna mean that you're gonna have to rebuild it, redesign it, or it's just not gonna function as well and have as much flow. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick glimpse of a close up of this, and then we're gonna step outside so you can see the awesome paint job and what it looks like from the outside. So here is the track when it is ready for customers. So right here is where the menu and eventually the merch board will hang off. So you got your ordering window right here and then your pickup window here to look like a barn door. And they are held on there by gate latches. Easy system. Countertop up there, set up our ordering there menu like i said gets hung there eventually merch there will also be an awning added to it so these are made to look like shutters in an old house window so that window just slides open and we have it so it can stay open and then when we're in transit the shutters can pull shut but then you have your counter right there you can put their order a unique thing about our build is how that we did our generator we wanted to make sure the generator could move out of the way and that way you could use this as, as a step and then also still tow behind our smoker. So our smoker, we have an extended hitch that we have put on. We hook the smoker up. We keep the smoker attached the entire time when we're serving and operating. This makes it so we can open the back doors, step on this, and then I put a little step down here and we can get right to our smoker so we can keep smoking the smoked macaroni and cheese. We can heat up our meat, things like that. So our smoker is a smoker oven it's wood fired. interesting unit we had it custom built in Georgia but the generator is on a sliding track we had a welder fabricator go ahead and build this for us so you I already pulled out the pen and it just slides in and out of place like this it has a stop bar and then all you do is lock it in place but when we're in transit it allows all the weight to be centralized here in the center of the truck and it rides really really well on here we do need a big generator to power all the stuff that we have 
but this is so far working really, really great. Next year, we're gonna add on awning, we're gonna add merch, we're gonna add our mini split because it does get really warm in the truck in the summertime. Uh, so those are things that we're still gonna add, but it was important just to get the truck up legal, get it operating and start making money instead of it just costing money. So we were able to help keep us a little bit not having as much out of our pocket up front. We got it legal, we're we up and operated for six weeks. Now we're gonna get back into the semi, make some more money. Like I said, put the mini split in and all of those other things. So stay tuned. We hope you enjoyed that. Catch this next video on how we winterize the food truck so that we can go back on the road into the semi and stay tuned for all the fun adventures of being on the road in the semi. You never know what we're up to. All right guys, stay tuned, bye.